Welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a very curious question from the grade 12 exam. It goes as follows. At a competition with n players, the number of players given elite status is equal to, oh heavens, 2 to the 1 plus something really scary minus n. Okay, that's, that's freaking me out. Carrying on, suppose that 19 players are given elite status. What is the sum of the two smallest possible values for n? Okay, and there's a little explanation. The square bracket business of x is the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Alright, I've just read the question. But I'm having an emotional reaction to this one. This one is scaring me. This looks like a very strange question to which I don't even know how to begin. Alright, take a deep breath. Let's read it again. At a competition with n players, the number of players given elite status is given by this crazy formula. And we know that 19 players are given elite status. And the question is... Say something about n. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but basically that last sentence says, do something with n. What I'm going to do here, since I'm so scared of this question, is engage in strategy number three, which is engage in wishful thinking. What I don't like is this formula. I'm just going to be honest. I'm really going to be spot on honest with my emotions. 2 to the 1 plus square brackets log base 2 n minus 1 n to square bracket minus n. What I really wish is just this wasn't there. I wish that wasn't complicated. So, I'm actually going to engage in wishful thinking and say, I wish it was just some nice simple number, I'll call it m minus n. That's it, that's what I wish. So, let's just ignore the actual question and go what I, what, what I like better. Now we're told, this is the formula for the number of elite players, and it equals 19. Okay, that doesn't scare me, the formula's not too bad. And in fact, the question's about something about n, so uh, let me rearrange this formula, it says that n must be 2 to the m minus 19. Well, actually, I'm going to ignore this completely for the moment because I can see what n could be. It's just a power of 2 minus 19. Do I know my powers are 2? You bet I do. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, uh, 128, and so on. Great! Well, maybe n is uh, 1 minus 19. No, it's a negative value. Maybe it's 2 minus 19. Negative value. 4 minus 19? Nope. 8 minus 19? Nope. 16 minus 19? Nope. Maybe it's 32 minus 19. Maybe n could be whatever that number is. I can't do arithmetic. It's 13, isn't it? Or maybe it's 64 minus 19. I feel like I'm getting at this question by having engaged in something simple. Just write 2 to the n. That's much nicer for me. It's friendlier. And I think it's all falling into place. So see if you can finish up the details of this question now. And you can check your answers by going to the curriculum burst essay accompanying this video. It's actually kind of fun in the end. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.